Monday, the 24th day of August 2009, Calvin Castine at West Plattsburgh American Legion Field. Post 16-19, this is the field number one. We're set for a big matchup in the A division. Alan Rock will be humping on the bases. Donnie shuts behind the plate. It's uh, Big Earls versus post 16-19, Norm Baker and Sons. Uh, Legion Bakers, they are 22 and 9. They're in fifth place in the A division. Since they split up into the A division after the first uh, 26 games, they've gone 2 and 3. But overall, they are 22 and 9. They have lost to the World Warehouse by 11 15, lost to Labatt's by a real close 13 to 14 margin. This is. Travis Rabidou leading off for Baker's Legion. He gets a base hit to start things. Uh, let's see, they have uh, beaten LaRue's Transport 22-11, lost to Northern Corridor by a four to five margin, and beaten uh, Lorman's Pizza and the Pizza Palace nine to five. So two and three, but they've lost uh, close games in their three losses. Big Girls is only three and two after going unbeaten in the first uh, 26 games of the season. Here's Jason Rabidou. And uh, they lost 7 11 to Northern Corridor. Beat Bandag Brewers 11 3. Bluff Point 14 3. Lormans and the Pizza Palace 14 7. And lost to World Warehouse at 10 6. But they've. Uh, and one of those losses, they had several players missing. And uh, that was their first loss. And last year, last week, uh, Northern Corridor uh, pulled out the 11-7 victory. So they are a game, two wins behind. If both have, they and uh, Labatt's each have two losses. But they uh, played two less games. And uh, a full game behind if they, they win here. They will uh, move to half a game behind with one more game before they, pay, they face uh, Labatt's. Hometown Cable hopes to be there for that big game and we hope that it might be an important game. But if they lose either one of the games between now and then, it would uh, probably just be a moot point whether they win it or not. Here's uh, Gary Manning flying out to Jason Mayette. We have two down. Mark Tatro is on the pitching rubber. Caleb Castine is behind the plate. Chris Castine is at first. Chris Booten is at second. Jared Perrier is at short. Dylan Lajway is at third base. Jason Mayette, Donnie Laporte, Mike Castine, and Andrew Castine in the outfield. Here's Scott Baker, the left fielder. Baker hits it through the left side by uh, Perrier. And it's going to be a one nothing lead as Rabideau scores for Baker's Legion. Uh, Beekman Town varsity baseball coach Jimmy Knight, the batter. I think he was uh, coach of the year this year. Tatro delivers. Hits it to Lajway, and he will not be in time, throws it away. That allows Baker to go to third. Knight will stay first. Now here's the extra hitter, Nate Durkee. Tatro delivers. That's going to be a base hit. That's going to make it a 2 nothing lead. Gets. Almost got by Mayette, uh, and they stopped there by Mayette. He was backed up by Laporte. It was first and second. Two outs, two on, and Dave Waldron, the batter. A lot of these guys on the Baker's Legion team play for the Lion Mountain baseball team on Sunday. Fox catches Perrier flat-footed. 
Run number three scores. And I'll get us to Kyle Kabalowski. Booten over to Kastein for the out. Three runs for Baker's Legion. They lead it as we head for the bottom of the first. Donnie Laporte will lead off for Big Girls. Big Girls, second place. They were in first place for most of the season. They fell in the second this past week. Laporte looking for two. He'll get it as usual. Donnie Laporte. Uh, here's Jared Perrier. That's a base hit. Laporte will score. It'll be a 3 1 ball game. Jason Rabideau was on the pitching rubber for the uh, Baker's Legion team. Gary Manning is behind the plate. Here's uh, Jason Mayat. Takes a strike. Let's see, at first base, it's uh, like two. Uh, first base, it's uh, Tony Hill. Second base is Dave Waldron. Shortstop is Rick Gladding. At third base, Travis Rabideau in the outfield. Scott Baker, Jimmy Knight, Kyle Kowalowski, and Nick Chase going from left to right. That'll be a long out. No, it keeps on going. It's a, it's a base hit. Career. He had to hold up. He will be safe at third. And that'll be a two-bagger for Mayette. Looked like it was going to be caught by Baker, and he, all of a sudden he uh, started chasing it. So bring up the cleanup batter, Caleb Katstein. They should get a run in. Straight away center. I'll make it 3 2. Tying run moves to third base with one out. Uh, bring up Dylan Lajway. And Lajway with a base hit. Ties the game. And he represents the potential go ahead run with one out. There's Chris Castine. First baseman. It's a strike. High fly ball. Where's Lajway going, Harry? Says I'm not going to advance if it's caught, so I'll uh, I'll be in position if it drops. Two down. <laughs> Although there were a few hit out in the uh, Labatt's game earlier today, this is not a it's a hot muggy day here. Temperature was 80 degrees close to it. 79 point something when I left Champlain to come to the first game of the day. There's Michael Castine hits it on the ground back. To the pitcher Rabideau over to first. It's 3-3 after one full, but as I was saying, it's a muggy day. We won't see too many out of the park tonight, I don't believe. Robin and Bill's little boy, Nick Chase up there. Takes a, takes a high pitch for ball one to start the second. Chase flies to deep right center. It's oh, almost a great catch by Mike Castine. Andrew Castine comes up firing, and Chase will be on with two bases. Now Tony Hill, the first baseman. 3-3 three, three the score in the top of the second inning. That's a base hit over to Glove of Booten. Chase will stop at third with nobody out. The runners at the corners. And now the batter is Rick Gladding with the top of the order to follow. 
Swings at the first offering, hits it to left field. Throw should come to second. The run scores. And Bill retreats, one up. Travis Rabideau, the batter. <laughs> Two and oh, the count. Uh, three oh, pitch. Strike. One out, one on. Laporte. Grabs. For a second. We off the mark. Going to be. Way off the mark. Two outs, man at second base. Here's Jason Rabadou. Strike. Get to under the glove of Jared Perrier. Just didn't get down on it. Didn't get in front of it. Didn't get in front of it. He uh, should have got in front of that ball, made sure he made the play. So instead of the inning being over, it's uh, another run across and Gary Manning, number three hitter in the lineup at the plate. 5-3 the score. And 3 1 pitch. Straight away center. It's deep. It's all back in the park by Donnie Laporte. What a big league play that was by Donnie Laporte. That is the catch of the day, no doubt about it. A three run catch for Donnie Laporte. Mark Tetro is at the plate, leading off the bottom of the second, with his team down by two. Hits it to left center. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What is Jimmy Knight doing there? Not Baker got it, but uh, Knight almost uh, caused that to fall in. Looks like Dollar Bill LeBeau coaching at uh, third base. Chris Booten, the batter. Boutin takes it inside. 5-3, Baker's Legion leads. 2-0 pitch. Booten chops it. Rabideau will take it unassisted. We have two down. Now uh, Andrew Castine, a batter, and a pitch. Get to left field. Baker is right there. It's 5-3 after two full. Legion pulls 16-19. Baker and Sons is leading by two after two full. The Iceman, Scott Baker, will lead off for Baker and Sons in the top of the third with his team up by two. Off the glove of Lajway, that'll be a base hit for Baker. It's uh, at least the second one. Remember, uh, Castine almost catching one in right center when the uh, when the uh, balls are hitting off the gloves like that uh, and falling in for base hits, not errors. Base hits uh, usually means that the, the things are going the way of the team at bat. Here's Knight. Give me Knight. And it can sometimes mean the difference in the ball game. Those plays like that, that just come off the glove. It just means uh, breaks are coming your way tonight. And that usually means uh, you have a good chance at the victory.
Knight flies out. Baker advances, and Nate Durkee, the extra hitter, steps in. That was too much arc. Mayette grabs it. Two down. There's Dave Waldron. Chops it to nice pickup by Lashway. Over to Chris Castein for the out. Nice pickup there by the third sacker. Nothing across for Legion Post 16-19. Baker and Sons after two and a half. It's 5-3 for the team in light blue. Donnie Laporte leading off as the girls will send up the top of their order here in the bottom of the third, trailing by two. And 3-0 pitch. Ball four is one way to get him, get him away from getting a double. Can't steal. Third stop, Jared Perrier. Strike. Foul ball, strike two, break two. 0 2 pitch. Just missed deep. Chop to short. Safe. Safe at second. Safe at second. Laporte beats it out. Uh, here's Jason Mayette. Chops it through the left side. Knocked down. And that's going to be bags full. Wyatt reaches. Uh, clean up man. Oh, the bag's full. Nobody out. Pops it up. Infield fly. One down. One down. They're saying it wasn't quite enough arc on that. But how? Lajway, Dylan Lajway is going to reach. No, yes, no, he's out. Slow getting out of the box, but he gets a run in. It's 5 4. 5 4. Two outs, and Christopher Castine at the plate. Two ducks on the pond. The big at bat, 5 4. Base hit would make it 6-5. It's at the short. It's booted. Throw to first will be not in time. Not in time. And two runs will score anyway. Two runs will score anyway. Gladding couldn't get a handle on it. Chris Gastein will reach on the error. And it becomes a 6-5 lead for Big Earls. Anywho. Now Mike Castine steps up, hits a shot into center field. Chris Castine's on his horse. Daring to go to third, he does. And the throw to third allows Mike Castine to go to second. Oh, two ducks on the pond for Mark Tatro. Tatro hits it to Gladding. Gladding over to first, make sure of that one. So we go to the fourth inning. It's six five, the girls. Okay, we have uh, Kyle Kabalowski making it out to start things in the fourth inning. We had to back it up. I didn't hear the swearing, so if there was swearing, I apologize. I backed it up to check. Nick Chase is the batter. We're in the top of the fourth. Chase chops it to Booten over the first in time. Two down. That's two down very quickly. We, uh, as I said, had to uh, check. Uh, I couldn't, couldn't hear any swearing, so I'm hoping that uh, that was the case. 
Now Tony Hill steps in. Big girls leading 6-5. Booten knocks it down. Throw to first. Holy cow. Give the inning to Chris Booten. Booten, Electrolux, man. Nothing gets by him. Sweeps him all up. We're going to go to the bottom of the fourth, halfway through this one. 6-5. Big girls leading. Legion post 16-19. Baker and Sons. We're down Sunday, Chris. Well, Chris, the glove man, is leading off here in the bottom of the fourth. Chris Booten. 6-5 the score. <laughs> to right center, one down. Now, Andrew Castine. Hit to second, throw to first, two down. Uh, here's Donnie Laporte. Ball one. Ball two. Walked them last time. Five girls with five there's a strike. Three and one. A line shot, base hit. To Laporte, it's booted. You know he's going to get second. <laughs> Unidentified flying object, Donnie Laporte. Uh, Jared Perrier. 6 5, big girls leading. You bring yourself. That's a base hit. We're rounding second. He's going to hit for third. And give him a triple. Seven five and Jason Mayat at the plate. Back to back triples and because then the girls are run. This will be a can of corn unless they bump into each other out there. Knight grabs it. So a run for big girls. They lead seven five through four full here on viewer supported hometown cable. Ball one to Rick Gladding as we start the top of the fifth in this 7-5 ball game. One ball, one strike. Maya, one out. Top of the order now, Travis Rabadou at the plate. Strike one from Petro. Go, to go, deep Travis. left field, Mayette makes the catch. The ball falls. He made the catch and dropped it after he went through the fence. The fence was uh, two bases are going to give him. It was shut, but not shut tight. Just sitting there. So am I expecting to uh, bounce off the fence? Ends up uh, bouncing through it. He had it caught, but uh, that'll be a ground rule double. So that's a break for the Baker's Legion team. Line shot to Jared Perrier from Jason Rabidou. Beautiful catch by Perrier. Great play. Two down. Now Gary Manning, who hit it to straightaway center last time up there, and only a spectacular catch by Donnie Laporte to keep it from being a three-run homer. He's up there now. 2-0 count. Tate were pitching carefully to him.
3 0 pitch. 3 1 pitch. The port looks like he's got plenty of room. He does. So it's still 7 5. We're going to the bottom of the fifth. Big girls leading by two. Caleb Castine will lead off the bottom half of the. Oh, it's a fair ball. Just a damn look at it. <laughs> Thought he had a foul ball, but it bounced fair. <laughs> He's out. Ball refused to go, go foul. Here's Dylan Lajoy. 7 5, Big Earls leads. Lashway drops it into left. That's a base hit. Now Chris Gastein. And a pitch. The dew is heavy. And a pitch to cast time. Ball four. He'll walk. First and second, and then Mike Castine, a batter. One ball, one strike, one out. Castine chops it. And everybody's going to be safe. Infield hit. Now uh, the base is full. Mark Tatro steps in. <laughs> Two and one to count. No place to put him. Tatro lines it up the middle. It'll score two. And it'll be runners at the corners. They'll make it 9-5 in favor of Big Earls. Chris Booten, the batter. Strike. One out. 9-5 the score here in the fifth. Two balls and a strike. Bhutan drops it into right field. Petro on his horse heading for third. Petro will be in at third. Bhutan on at first with the RBI single. Makes it 10 5 and brings up Andrew Castine. Top of the order on deck. Just one out. Base hit just over the glove of Gladding. I'll make it 11 5. Six run lead now for the girls. Top of the order, Donnie Laporte, the batter. He's going to go the opposite way. Bhutan is going to score. Castine, Andrew Castine goes to third. Laporte in the second. Twelve five, and Jared Perrier at the plate. Line shot. Line shot to first base. Hill makes a nice catch. Two down. Now Jason Mayette. First base is open. Mayette chops it off the bag. Two runs will score. Mayette will stop at second base. It's 14 to 5, 9 run lead now for Big Earls. Uh, Caleb Castine, the batter. Strike. It's the back of the mat. 14 5 is the score. We're in the fifth inning. That's hit to short. Throw to first. In time for the out. 
It's 14-5 after five full. We're heading for the six. Well, you've got to figure that uh, Legion Post 16, 19, Baker and Sons says if they can score seven, we can score seven. And they need to score at least 3-4 uh, here in the uh, sixth inning. Scott Baker leading it off. Nine run lead now for Big Earls. Big Earls, they are in second place. They need to uh, win tonight and uh, have to run their next game in order to stay in contention for first place. And that'll be if they can win them both. It'll be a big climatic game against uh, Labatt's for the supremacy of the regular season. Long fly ball to Mayat, one down. I'll bring up Jimmy Knight. Top of the six, 14 5 the score. Knight hits a high fly, deep. Mayat's got a lot of room. <laughs> in front of the Baker and Son sign, two down. You know my head has to be a little concerned about that fence after crashing through it through that gate last inning. There's Nate Durkee, two outs and nobody on. And a pitch. One ball, one strike. That's deep. It's on the line. It's going to be out of here. A four-bagger from Durkee. And I'll make it a 14-6 ball game. Dave Waldron, the batter. Swings at the first offering. Hits it high. Out of play, strike one. Detro's pitch. Chopped to Perrier. Over to Chris Castine for the out. A run for Baker's Legion. We're going to go to the bottom of the six. 14 6. Big Earls leads. Dylan Lajway pops it up. Gary Manning under it, one down to start things in the bottom of the sixth. I'll bring up Christopher Castine, the first baseman. 14 6 to score. Division 1 play in the Adirondack Slow Pitch League. Baker catches the line drive. We have two down. Well, Michael Castine. That's a base hit through the right side. Looking to stretch it into two. He will be safe at second. Mark Tetro, the batter. Up the middle, base hit. That should score for Michael Castine. I'll make it 15 6. And Chris Booten at the plate. Looks good. Ball one. One ball, one strike from Rabideau. Never got enough, never got enough. Come on. Three one. Ball four. Blue will walk. The first and second. And Andrew Castine, the batter. Hits it back to Rabadou. He'll go over to first to Hill for the out. And we're gonna go to the seventh inning. 15-6, Big Earls leads. Let's go guys, come on. Kyle Kowalowski leading off. Takes a strike to start things in the seventh. 
team down by nine. Down. That's a line shot. Nice diving catch by Mike Castine. We didn't already have a catch of the day by Laporte. That would have been the catch of the day, but too bad. Oh, one out. Nick Chase steps in. Line shot to Dylan Lajway, two down. Yeah, that'll get us to Tony Hill, the first baseman. It's a shot to Castine. That should end it. It does. And 15 6 will be the final. The Big Girls restaurant team defeats American Legion Post 16 19, Norm Baker and Sons by a nine run margin. That's the way it was. And a division action in the Adirondack Slow Pitch League. August 24th, 2009. Thanks for watching. And for those of you supporting viewer supported local television, hometown cable. Win, lose, or draw, TV worthy of your support, hometown cable.